Hey, are you looking to buy your first home and confused if it's, this is a still a good time to buy? We will look into some numbers together and break it down for you to be an informed buyer. Hi, Michael Chu of 7M Realty in Silicon Valley, Fremont. Please subscribe, like, or comment since it will help us bring valuable and timely content to you. Wow, the headline this week will make your head spin. Here are just a few to recap. Let's read off from uh, Forbes. This one says, S&P 500 hits new 2022 low as staggering market losses continues and increasingly negative investor sentiment continues to weigh markets. The next one is uh, about crypto, and this one says, One trillion crypto meltdown. Huge crash wipes out the prices of Bitcoin, Luna, and Avalanche. So here we're going to show you one example. So Luna went down to two cents during Thursday's trading. And if you can look at this chart, it, it, it is just a dramatic drop yesterday. Bloomberg says, shaky stocks sends S&P 500 to the bear market brink and back. So S&P 500 ends down 18% from its all-time high on January 3rd. And also, drop of 20% in stock often signals pain for the real economy. And you hear it a lot. The stock market isn't the economy. But the saying loses some of its uh, precision at time like this. It takes a pretty violent shift in sentiment to knock the market this hard, and equity losses take a toll on consumer psychology. And also, usually the market warns something is already long before economic growth goes negative. Next thing, of course, is Federal Reserve Chair Powell reaffirm that the central bank is likely to raise interest rate by half a percentage point at each of the, its uh, next two meetings while leaving open the possibility it could do more. Um, in an interview with Marketplace uh, Public Radio Program on Thursday, Paul made clear his determination to get inflation under control but conceded that the Fed's ability to do that without triggering a recession may depend on factors outside of its control. The Fed, tightening highest inflation in four decades, raised interest rate by half a percentage point last week, and Powell signals at press conference it was on track to do the same at meetings in June and July. Powell said the Fed was aiming to achieve a soft landing of the economy in which inflation returns to its 2% target while the labor market remains strong. But he added that it will be quite challenging to pull off just that, and the process of doing so will include some pain. The question whether we can execute a soft landing or not, it may actually depend on factors that we don't control, he said, pointing in particular to geopolitical events and supply chain bottlenecks. But regardless, Powell made it clear that getting inflation down was his number one priority. Asked at the end of the interview to sum up his thinking in five words, Powell replied, Get inflation back under control. So the last thing housing affordability index shows, houses are at the least affordable in the last 10 years. Only one in every five Californians can afford a medium-priced house in California, even fewer in the San Francisco Bay Area. So if you have been trying to buy your home lately, you fully experienced this many times over. So with all that said in context, is this still a good time to buy? Well, it depends. Well, <laughs> don't you hate it when people say that? I know I do but it really depends on your personal situation. What are the pros and cons of considering buying in this environment? Well, the pro is less competition, less competition, and yes, less competition. With high rates, there will be fewer people competing for the same home that you want. 
we have already seen this in the April time frame. Houses usually uh, get double digit multiple offers and now they are down to within five offers. Not to say completely there's no competition, but obviously less than prior to the rate hike. With the NASDAQ down, which includes some of the largest tech companies locally, that may have equities, right? So that will also eliminate some competitions, especially in the two to $4 million range. Usually buyers would take a large cash out position to make purchases. With all the talks of recession, there might be more sellers coming on uh, to the market. So more inventory to choose from and more supply of inventory may help with stabilizing price overbidding. So the sell price to list price ratio will drop as well. So does it make sense to buy if you are currently renting and really need a larger space for your life events, like you're getting married, like having a child or another child, or your in-laws are coming in to move in with you, or if you need uh, extra office space for that uh, work from home situation. If you plan on being in the house for at least five years and you're confident of your employment situation, uh, that is a good thing for you. Now the cons, of course, it is the higher rates means higher monthly payment to qualify for the same mortgage. The difference is around $600 or so uh, for every $500,000 you borrow it in borrow money. So at the median price of uh, $1.5 million or so, that could be meaning like extra $1,800 in payment. So definitely, ouch. There are some solutions to lower these payments. Rising mortgage rates uh, together with uh, surging home prices have made adjustable loans look more attractive, especially as a first time home, home buyer to trying to crack into the housing market that has been running hot for two years. In the latest readings from Freddie Mac, a traditional 30 year loan jumped to 5.3%, the highest since July of 2009. Meanwhile, the average 5.1 adjustable rate mortgage, which has fixed rate for the first five years and then can vary based on the market condition, is at 3.98%. In a rising rate environment, thinking adjustable rate are on the table, but you have to be careful, said Nella Richardson, chief economist at ADP. What they do is take the risk of rates rising and pass it on to the consumer. So what's the case for getting one if you want a lower rate now? The main advantage of an adjustable rate mortgage is a lower initial rate, which can reduce borrower's monthly payment for now. As uh, of right now, the savings on an adjustable rate mortgage are quite significant, says Taylor Marr, Deputy Chief Economist for Redfin. Some of these buyers are looking for ways to cope with rising uh, mortgage rates and opting for a 5-1 adjustable rate mortgage is a way to do that. If you think your income is going to increase, there's always a risk that adjustable rate mortgage will become more expensive if interest rates are higher once the fixed rate uh, fixed period expires. But for those expecting to make more money soon, that might be less intimidating. Maybe you're early in your career, you're on a trajectory where you know your income is going to in, uh, grow in the next five years. Then you might be willing to accept more interest rate risk. If you're only going to be in the home for the short term, if you know that you plan to move again in the near future, an adjustable rate mortgage could make the most sense. Especially if you choose a 5-1 option, the most popular, or a 7-1 option, which has a fixed rate for the first seven years. This is a common choice for people in the military who moves frequently, or even for first time home buyers with a starter home who knows they will want to upgrade soon. If they have a large down payment, say you're uh, lucky enough to pay cash for a significant portion of your home, then you probably won't need 30 years to pay it off the rest and an adjustable rate mortgage can allow you to pay less interest in that shorter time frame. 
That route is especially popular among people buying vacation homes. Reasons、uh, to steer clear if you want less uncertainty in your life. One of the biggest burden of an adjustable rate mortgage is the mental toll it can take. Instead of a set and, and forget it option, this kind of loan requires some attention, especially after the initial fixed period ends. At that point, you might need to consider refinancing. Or at least monitor the interest rate environment for the duration of the loan. With an adjustable rate mortgage, you will have maintained a level of consciousness about your mortgage," said Melissa Cohn, regional vice president at William、uh, Ravy's Mortgage. If you get a fixed rate, it's a locked in at three percent. You never have to think about it. Imagine you're buying this house to welcome in your additional child. In a few years, you would be busy with diapers, baby formulas, and after-school care. The in interest rate is the last thing on your mind. It could creep up on you when you least expect it or prepared. If you don't want to refinance, there's always the option to re refinance for a potentially lower rate, but that can be pricey. You don't save a cost on refinancing. Until the new mortgage rate is close to a full percentage、uh, point lower than what your current rate is, said Mar at Redfin. The average closing cost for a single-family property、uh, refinance in 2021 was $2,375, up 3.8 percent from 2020, according to CoreLogix. Plus, it's just a whole load of work again. When you already have your hands full with raising a family, career advancement, etc., if you think inflation is sticking around, although the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates in an attempt to cool inflation, it's stubbornly persistent. The longer inflation lasts, the longer the Feds may have to keep tightening. Potentially bad news for those with an adjustable rate mortgage, since mortgage rates typically rise along、uh, the benchmark rates. If you're in an adjustable rate mortgage and your window suddenly resets, your mortgage could potentially double or triple. If you're at the mercy of market interest rates, and if your payment goes from a thousand to three thousand dollars because you're reset, unless your salary has gone up three times, you're walking into a pitfall. You could potentially be forced to sell at a time that's not to your timetable. If this is your forever home, for those planning on staying in their property for the long term, an adjustable rate mortgage can simply be more trouble than it's worth. The fixed、uh, rate option offers protection from future increase and simplifies your financial life. We tend to be a fan of fixed rates," said Nick Holman, director of financial planning at Betterman. Your payment is locked in. It's easier to forecast your long-term budget and plan accordingly for your goals. Okay, so I know it's still a confusing market out there, and it's hard to think of buying a house in the Bay Area. I have laid out some ways to contemplate the buy or not to buy question, and hopefully, it is helpful to you. So please subscribe, like, and comment on your situation. And if you like to DM me, my contact is in the description. April data in Fremont Silicon Valley still shows house prices upticking. Our medium single-family house price is now at a whopping 1.8 million dollars. Out of the 360 houses sold in 2022. There were only four below one million dollars versus back in 2021. There were over 20. Out of the 360, more than half were in the range of 1.3 to 1.9 million dollars.、Uh, there were over 200 units on, in that, and more than a hundred houses were above the two million dollar range. For attached homes, condos, townhouses. There are more houses at lower price points. Out of the 74 units sold, the medium was slightly under one million at about 933,000. Average days on market is nine days and roughly nine percent over asking. Newark and Union City are lower at slightly over or close to 900,000 dollars, 
but still at over 9% of asking price. Bottom line is be prepared to pay more than list if you found your dream home. I have laid out some ways to contemplate the buy or not to buy question, and hopefully it is helpful to you. So please subscribe, like, and comment on your situation. And if you'd like to DM me, my contact is in the description. Till the next time, let's make it a great day.